Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my back to school video. Can't believe I'm already saying that. Like, ha does it feel like a year since I've done back to school videos? So yeah, today I will be starting off my back to school series with what I did last year. Today I will be doing a classic Hate Easily video, a how to survive video, and this is how to survive school, which is a bunch of life hacks that honestly saved me last year. I've been using them for a year. They're amazing and I decided to share them with you today. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss the upcoming videos that I have planned. They're so good and my back to school videos are honestly going to be amazing this year. And if you are not already following my Instagram, what are you doing? It's just hey, it's Ainsley. And yeah, that's basically it for this intro. I'm so excited to show you guys this video. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Before we start the video, um, I have a few things to say. I'm currently in Florida that right, right now, that's why it's like... And that is why sort of the voiceover sucks. I don't have my microphone here. I'm literally using my headphones because I forgot to do the voiceovers before on my microphone. And second, this video is a collab with one of my very, very good YouTube friends, Steph Oliver. You guys know her. We've done collabs before. She's literally amazing. Her videos are so good. And she's also doing a back to school video. So I will leave the link to the video and her channel in the description below. And make sure you say that easily sent you. And yeah, love. Now let's get on to the video. All right, so life hack number one is, is you either sleep over the alarm or you just hate the alarm. So what you should do is put it in a cup and it's sort of like a DIY super easy speaker. So then when you wake up, it's literally so much louder than just having your phone with an alarm. Life hack number two is if you keep your books in your bag like I do and you need to be able to quickly get one, all you should do is highlight just a tip or a color in the top of the books, all different colors, sort of color coordinating each class. So then when they're in your bag in bird's eye view, you can just quickly get which subject you need without having to look through all the books. Life hack number three is if you are doing a speech and you need a little breather because you keep on stumbling words, all you should do is just bring up a water bottle on stage so then it doesn't look like you're taking a break but you're just taking a sip of water and it looks much more smooth and then you can re refresh what you're saying and then go back to saying your speech. The night is young, won't you sing for me? Life hack number four is if your bag starts to stink throughout the year and everyone's does, just admit it. So all you should do is just take a tea bag, mine's really ratchet and it's in a Ziploc bag, but then I just put it in the front pouch of my bag and it gave a very subtle but good smell to my bag and it was just a super easy hack to make my bag smell good again. <laughs> Alright, so life hack number five is if you have a bunch of different tabs open up because you're doing research and you're writing stuff, but then you accidentally close all of them, which happens to me all the time. All you need to do is press Control, Shift, and T all at the same time. And I actually did this while I was filming this and it actually worked because I wanted to make sure it worked for you guys. And yeah, this is a really good life hack for school. Alright, so if you're ever studying and you get really stressed out, like most people, I certainly do, all you should do is just take a mint because mints apparently reduce stress levels and then you'll be way less stressed while studying. Give the kiss now. Alright, so life hack number seven is you know those ice packs that get really wet and then they soak up your all your food? So all you should do is just wet a sponge and then freeze it and then put it in a Ziploc bag and then it's a DIY sponge that doesn't leak all over your food. Like 
All right, so the final life hack is if you accidentally get Sharpie on yourself, and obviously I didn't get it on myself for this. I'm just showing you. So all you do is you take a highlighter and you just highlight the area that has Sharpie on it, and then you take a cloth with a bit of water on it and just rub it off. And this is really strange. I'm not sure why it works, but it just took the Sharpie right off once I did that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me which life hack you thought were the, was the most interesting or if you've tried any of them before. And I will see you next week for another video. Bye!